Probably the single most asked question that I hear at the I Franchise Group is how many franchises can I sell in any given year? How many franchises will I ultimately sell if I launch a franchise program? And the answer to that is really that it depends. It depends. Uh, the factors that influence franchise sales, there's really five factors that influence it. The first is, do you have a good concept? And that's going to be defined based on, is it unique? Does it have good marketing advantages? Does it have uh, a good value proposition? Does it provide a good return on investment to a franchisee? And with that as a starting point, then there's certain things that you need to do in order to sell franchises. First of all, you need to develop a good marketing plan to help you to generate those leads. And it helps to go with a company that is going to understand where to generate those leads and is going to be able to develop a plan that's going to say, here are the best places, the best sources for those leads. And, and that's one of the things that the iFranchise group does. So the second thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to develop good marketing materials, good collateral pieces, brochures and videos and websites. Those kinds of things will help to get that prospective franchisee over the line. The next piece of the sales cycle, as we call it, is good franchise sales process, making sure that you understand exactly what you should be doing in the process of selling franchises. And then the last piece of the franchise sales cycle is really how much money do you spend on franchise marketing? So on average in today's marketplace, it's about eight to ten thousand dollars in franchise marketing to sell one franchise. So if you spend eight to ten thousand dollars on franchise marketing, you spend it in the right places, provide good materials, have a good sales process and have a good concept to start, you should sell about 12 weeks later, that's about the length of the sales cycle, about 12 weeks later you should sell a franchise. But that's only the first half of the sales cycle. So bear in mind, so the, the, I mean, the first part of the conclusion, the first conclusion to draw from this is, is that the more money you spend on franchising, the more franchises you sell. And that sounds really great, of course, but, but what happens is that there are limitations on how many you can sell. And one of those limitations is how readily can you service your franchisees? Because the sales cycle, if you think about the sales cycle just like sort of a wheel, the first half of the sales cycle that brings you down to the point where you're selling those franchises is really focused on selling franchises with good quality marketing, good quality sales techniques. But the back half of that same sales cycle is really focused on making sure that that franchisee is successful. So are you being careful to qualify your franchisees and making sure that you only take on the right franchisees, that you're being very selective in that process. So that's important in making sure that your franchisees are successful. Are you providing them with good training, with good support? Are you providing frequent communication with your franchisee? Does your franchisee know that you are being open and honest and transparent with them and that you really are concerned with their success? Because the back half of that sales cycle gets us to a real core for the, the length of our long-term franchise relationship and for long-term franchise sales, and that is franchisee validation. Franchisee validation, which is industry jargon for do the franchisees say nice things about you as a franchisor, means everything to you as a franchisor. If, you're, if your franchisees are successful and they're happy and they're saying great things about you, Franchise sales validation will keep this cycle rolling around and will keep franchise sales rolling into you because them saying those great things will allow you to continue to advertise and continue to grow more franchises. But where the cycle breaks down is when you don't provide good training, you don't provide good support, your franchisees don't make money and they don't get communicated with and suddenly the franchisees say bad things about you as a franchisor. Because when that happens, as a franchisor, what you're going to find is that your validation being bad means that despite the fact that your company owned and operated facilities may do very well, in the eyes of prospective franchisees, you don't have a good franchise concept anymore 
And no matter how good your marketing materials are, no matter how good your brochures are, no matter how good your marketing strategies are, no matter how good your sales processes are, without a good core concept and without good validation, you're not going to sell franchises. So it's very important not to grow any faster than your ability to support franchisees. So in answering the question, how many franchises can I sell? In some respects, it's a numbers game, both in terms of how many can you sell, and that's the number that you're looking at there is how much marketing do I spend, and then it's also a numbers game versus how many can I support and make them successful. So again, making your franchisees successful is the key to being successful as a franchisor. If you'd like to learn more about franchising and how to franchise your business, we have a DVD, it's a 90 minute seminar on DVD that talks about some of these basic core principles of franchising, franchisability, costs of franchising, and how do you sell franchises? How do you market franchises? So if you go to www.ifranchisegroup.com or call us at 708-957-2300, we'd be happy to send you a free DVD 90-minute seminar on how to franchise your business.